Hi there! Today we will explore how to retrieve individual characters from a string. The word string refers to a string of characters. We will create another Delphi project for this lesson. Before we start, pause the video and go and download the starter files from my Patreon page at patreon.com slash learndelphi. After you downloaded the files, you can come back and do the rest of the solution with me. I'm using a free version of Delphi 10.3 Community Edition to record these lessons. You may still be in time to also get a free copy of Delphi. I will post the link in the description of this video. This is how the solution will work. Here I have a form with two labels, an edit, a spin edit and a panel. I added the default sentence to the edit, but the user will also be able to insert his own text. The spin edit has a minimum value of 0 and a maximum value of 15. The user will choose the position of the character in the string by changing the number in the spin edit. This can be done by clicking the up and down buttons of the spin edit. As I'm clicking the up button, the alpha uses the number in the spin edit to identify the character in that position and displays the output in a panel. 1 is D, 2 is E, 3 is L, 4 is P, 5 is H and 6 is I. You can also type a number. I will type 12. The letter in position 12 is the U in the word fun. Also notice the single quotation marks in the front and the back of the character. The ASCII value for a single quote is 39, so we will use hash 39 in our code for the output. Let's start the project. Here is my project in design time. If you have yours open in Delphi, double click the spin edit. The default event handler the Delphi creates is for the onChange event of the spin edit. Let's first declare a few local variables. Go above begin and type var and on the next line is the R sentence as string. And go to the next line and type bte position as byte. In the following line, chr letter as char. str sentence is a string that saves the text in the edit. bte position is a byte variable. It will store the number that the user provided with the spin edit. chr letter is a char variable. It must store the character that we retrieve from the string. Put your cursor between the begin and end statements. Type three comments to separate your input, processing and output. Under input type str sentence colon equals edt input dot text. Here we read the text from the edit called edt input and assign it to the string named str sentence. On the next line type bte position colon equals sed char position dot value. Here we read the value from the spin edit called sed char position and we assign it to the byte named BTE position. Now go to the line under processing. Type this statement. This is the code that will retrieve the character from the string. Let's explore it in more detail. Here I declare a string variable. When the compiler executes this code, a placeholder will be reserved in memory with the name str phrase. This placeholder will initially be empty. I also declare a char variable, which will also reserve space in a placeholder named chr letter. Initially this variable will also be empty. Then I assign a value to the string variable. When this code is executed, the phrase will be saved in a string variable in memory. Notice how the letters are saved as an array of characters. Most arrays are zero based, which means that the first item has an index number of zero. But in Delphi the index for characters in a string starts at one. This string has 13 characters. So the characters are indexed from one to 13. Notice that the spaces are also considered characters and they have their own indexes. In module 10 we explored many string functions like pass, length, copy, string replace and some others. Most of those functions also use these index numbers to be able to perform their work. 
Now, let's see how we can use these index numbers to retrieve a character in a specific position. Here, we tell Delphi to read the character with index 6 from the string variable. It will be the letter I in the word Delphi. The character will then be assigned to the char called chr letter. Notice how we specify the index number between block brackets. Then we read the value in the variable and display it as part of an output. Let's look at this line again. Here, we use the number in the byte variable as the index, instead of a hard-coded value like 6. Then, after retrieving the character with that index number, the result is assigned to the char variable called chr letter. Put your cursor on the output and type this code. This line displays the letter with the specified index. The letter will be displayed between single quotation marks. A single quotes ASCII code is 39, so we concatenate hash 39 on both sides of the char variable. Run the application, click the up button a few times and see how the output spells out the letters of the word Delphi. You can also type a number to get the character. Close the form and save your work. If this lesson was helpful to you, please like and subscribe and share the lessons with all your friends and colleagues. I'll talk to you again in the next lesson. Thank <laughs> you.